Hello guys, it's your girl again, Nelly Usman. And I am back. <laughs> Flesh and blood. You are all welcome back to my YouTube channel. To my returning subscribers, I am so grateful and happy you are here. And to those who are just seeing my video for the first time, my name is Nelly Usman. And I do videos here, right here in Canada, Saskatoon to be precise. Well, Saskatoon, Saskatchewan. So... That's where I am and that's where I do my videos from. I do it, videos concerning my experiences here in Canada and in regards to anything I see around. And for a disclaimer, I'm not a migration consultant, so I don't do anything in regards to like, I know a lot about immigration. I just do my videos based on the fact that these are my experiences. So you can relax. And watch this video to the end because i know for sure that you're going to learn one or two things from this video so relax and enjoy this video to the end and we'll be all happy as for the topic for today or what i'm going to talk about today it's about some basic skills i have 15 of them i'm going to talk about now some basic skills we should have before migrating to canada these skills will just help you navigate your way um, we don't know what the future holds but it will help you navigate your way in Canada and make you spend less money so these are things some of us did before we came and I, I for me personally I did it and I still date I still benefit from those skills I learned so I think it's just it's just proper for me to just dish it out and make people know that these are things you could learn before coming so you save yourself some money and you save yourself some stress and these are skills that you can even decide to do as full time so it is not uh, it will not be a wrong thing for you to just have these basic skills it doesn't really cost much to do it from whichever country you're coming from but it will be so beneficial to you when you land in Canada so sit down and relax and enjoy this video with me. The first uh, skill I think one should acquire, well, for me, I acquired it before coming. I've had it for long before coming. But the first skill I think one should have before coming is computer appreciation. Should I say it again? Computer appreciation. Be able to use a computer. Well, I can overstress that part because I think most of the jobs you get here there is no way you're not going to use a system. There's no way you're not going to use a laptop or a desktop. So please, just register in any computer center and learn it. Typing, your typing speed may not be too high, but at least know how to work with your Word, know how to work with Excel, know how to work with PowerPoint, know how to work with um, Outlook, because that's where you send your emails and all that. So it's I don't know how to overstress this, but I think we should try to get that skill. It is very, very important. I had a friend who migrated, no, no, no. I think she came in some months ago and the next thing I could hear is, hey God, I know Sabi used computer. Oh. I say, you say what? What did you just say? I can't believe this. I say, as you find like this, so. She said, my sister, I don't know how to use it. I say, I beg. <laughs> I can't believe this. So, in my head, so this is something somebody has to like know. And I told her, you should just try and start this thing. Get a laptop and just be practicing at home because you will need it in any job you're going for. Oh my God. Hmm. Hey God. I wonder the kind of job you, you have that you, maybe, I don't know. I can't remember any. But, but I think that's one of the basic skills we should all have. Very important. So think of it. And if you don't have it, register for a center and learn, learn how to use a computer. Another skill I think one should have, whether I'm male, female, whatever, should have before coming to Canada or migrating to Canada is hair making. Should I allow it? Hair making. Learn how to make hair. <laughs> Here we go again. <laughs> it looks very simple. It's very simple, but it's very important. You see this hair making matter? <laughs> you cannot overstress it, mostly if you have children. If you have female children, they will definitely make their hair. So, 
if you are taking your children every two two weeks uh, sorry maybe two months to go braid their hair do you know how much you'll spend these days it's a hundred dollar sometimes it's 150 dollar for an adult some people charge 200 dollar so if you don't know how to braid your braid hair or still for your kids before you talk of yourself or for your children if you don't know how to braid hair every two two months you'll be spending hundred dollar to 150 to braid their hair now to yourself if you don't know how to do basic small on your own mat your hair yourself so that you can put wig like we all do if you don't know how to do that one now you know because you'll be spending money to learn how to make hair you can even start making it for people when i first came i was doing it as a side hustle i did it for a while like i did it for a period of time before i stopped because working and uh, family um family need was not was it wasn't working for me so i had to stop so this skill is very important but till date i still braid my children's hair myself so it's something you need to learn i don't need to overstress it whether you want to use it as a skill for you to go into it full time braiding ghana weaving um even fixing wigs you see some people will just buy the hair and tell you fix it fixing it on a cap it is very important you learn it if you if you are thinking of it i think you're doing yourself a very a very laudable good for you to learn that it's good requires some basic skills it will help you it will help your family then you can some people think of it and they decide to go into it full time i have a lady here who does it as full time and i know she's living well Sometimes I tell her, you are even bigger than those of us that are claiming to be working. She said, not so, because she has built her clientele. So think of it. It's something you could do. Mostly if you have the skills. You know, some people just know how to make something neat, fine, you know, uh, create style, be creative. You make money. You make money. So think of it. Whether I'm man, woman, whatever. This one not get gender. <laughs> Another skill that all of us need those skills or need this skill here is catering cooking you see this cooking we all must feed our belly our stomach food must enter <laughs> and how food will they enter and when we cook food a lot of people here do have time to really sit to cook their meal so they rely on caterers to prepare stew to prepare different kind of soups and they put in their freezer and they take it gradually so if you are a good cook or you can bake very well think of it you can go and learn it some people even go into opening a restaurant some decide to work for people maybe just to acquire more skills like how they do it here and they open their own i know a lady here she doesn't work for anybody cooking is a full-time job and I know how much, short, I don't know how much she makes, but I know she's living well by cooking. I was talking to her one day, I said, ah, this cooking thing, is it not stressful? We say it's stressful, but I'm seeing the money. That's why you're seeing the money. Why not, if not? You can even do it as a side also. If, you, if it's something you love to do. Baking. You see this cake? One layer of cake. One layer. Not be that our double decker where we see one layer. That's that's just one they want to make it for you with icing and all that do you know how much nothing less than 150 to 200 that's what they will charge you and now with a bagel and now because say, i know you so you can imagine they want to charge somebody that is not their friend so learn how to make it well not by all those one where you go learn for roadside say so you don't learn how to bake oh, because bakers yourself na peng good bakers so you have to you just have to be good like this learning how to make these small chops sometimes they want to do a party they're looking for somebody that will just make samosa fish roll egg roll uh meat pies buns puff puff they want somebody to make it and you can be contacted to do it even suya even chicken uh barbecue chicken and all that so these are things that we can learn learn it and just have it as a skill in your, in your head you have it 
then even when you want to do your own party you can you can be the one to be, do the catering you gradually go to a level where people hire you to do catering services for them if your skill is in like if you love to cater for people like cook for people just think about it learn it very well not this one you learn say not the one why they cook for house no that's real catering service learn it and come down here and you will thank me tomorrow it is something that sells here it is something that sells here another skill that you need to learn before coming to canada barbing of hair you see this barbing of hair for some men they cut their hair like twice in a week or twice in a month depends on how your hair go so if you don't know how to cut your hair yourself or you don't know how to cut your children's hair you can imagine how much you'll be spending to cut for an adult what i know that they charge sometimes 60 sometimes 50 depends on the salon you walk into if it's all these exotic you know classy salons you spend nothing less than 70 dollars to cut your hair then if you have this friend that has a that runs it in his house or her house you spend nothing less than 40 to 50 dollars for children 30 to 40 dollars it depends so if you don't know how to cut hair you don't know how to cut your own hair talk less of cutting your children's hair then you're on your own because you'll be spending a lot of money trying to do these things and you know for hair it doesn't have limit to it grows all the time except you want to come and be carrying more more hunk is it more hunk? they call it afro hair yes if you decide to carry afro hair you don't have a problem but even if you want to carry afro you need not even trim the afro to look beautiful Boy, y'all know you ain't playing with me. Not at all. All 2021, man. Hey, where that brush at? Hey, here you go. Here you go. Ooh, boy, man. What? What the hell? You have to do that. So, please, learn how to cut hair. For children, for adults. Some people come and they take it as a full time job. It depends on what you want. Or you can take it as a side also. When you close for work, you book your client in the evening and you sit down in your house and cut their hair. It's not a bad idea. Think about it if you're not thinking of it already. I have a female friend of mine. That was what she was doing for a long time. She cuts both male and female. You tell her she comes to your house, she cuts your hair. Home service, different money. Uh, uh, if you come to her house, she charges you less. So think of it. Something we should, you know, Another skill that sells like no man's business here in Canada is truck driving. Hey, close one eye, open up. You say truck driving. Truck driving, it cannot be overemphasized. Even though you say I be a woman, there are some things we cannot do. Truck driving pays like some of them because as far as you have the skill you just come you are able to get your license because everything a license license for here you're able to go to the driving this thing you pay for it you get your license if the company hires you or if you just if you now go big and decide to buy your own truck my brother my friend my sister do you know how much they make some of them they charge you 28 to 25 to 30 dollar per hour they can imagine that you have your own truck and you are the one driving the truck yourself. You make good money. Or you are driving a truck for somebody. As far as you go to work in the morning and you come back in the evening, you are paid nothing less than $25 to $30 per hour. So, this is something we could learn in our country. Maybe, hey, na truck, na truck driver, you know they respect us. But for Canada, a truck driver is respected. A truck driver is like any other skilled person here. So they are respected and they make good money. There are few of them. Very few of them are into truck driving. So if you have that skill before you migrated here, you make good money for yourself. You'll be able to get a job because they are looking for them everywhere. 
So think of it. If you if you think ah, it's something I can do, go and learn it. Take your time, learn it very well before coming. So that way you come. It will just take you some few months. You get your license and you can drive a truck. Okay, that's another basic skill you can learn. Another skill you can learn is being a plumber. We call it plumber in my country. In Canada, it's called a plumber. So, whichever suits you. Plumber, plumber, whatever. But in this regard, a plumber, okay? <laughs> Which I love because I don't know the one that you understand. So, I will give the two names. Plumber, plumber. So, I say plumber. You see those things, what they call shit work for my country? Yeah, that work. I don't like ammo. But here, not big money. I think my last video, I was talking about it that for me to get a plumber to come fix my bathroom, it took me almost two to three weeks. At a time, I, I gave up because I couldn't follow up with the guy anymore. And there are very few of them. Very few of them. So, if you could learn it very well, it is something that will be useful to you even to your household because if you have anything in regards to your plumbing you can fix it yourself then if you do it as a side also it's something that you can also do to make money you can also go into it full time because all these buildings that they are constructing everywhere if you go around the town they are constructing constructing they need plumbers so what you do it's not this roadside plum plumber no after learning it in your country, you come here and just go for the certification so that you become a certified plumber. Every year that they go to school. Even the hair making, all those ones that was what I call, you must go to school. So the hair making, you can be doing it in your house, but if you want to go into it as a professional hair maker, you go to their school. So for this plumbing, you will go to school to become a professional. But if you want to do all this for how somebody call you, I, I think I got your number and I somebody told me you came to fix your house. Please can you come and fix one? Those ones more, you may not be able to charge the way a certified one would charge, but at least you'll be getting one or two jobs to do. And also you'll be able to fix any situation in your house. Because these are things that if you call somebody to fix it, only one hour they will spend in your house. Only one and you know, first they will first of all check what the problem is. That time minutes are going seconds are running and all that you will pay the pay because the minute the person steps into your house your time starts running then you also pay the person after the person this gets the what the problem is and try to solve it so if you can imagine if it takes the person one hour or 30 minutes to rectify to check what the problem is and rectifying it takes the person two hours you are paying the person for two hours 30 minutes sometimes the thing self way that they fix if you know be one better thing they just did they just they waste time that is what i've seen because I've moved like how many places? That is what I've seen. They will just they just the busy body, busy body. Time they go, make your money, they run. So if you have this skill, it's something you can do yourself. You don't need to call anybody. Okay, learn plumbing or plumber. <laughs> anyway, we understand, but you understand what I talk, sha, right? Hmm. Another skill we you would think for your head to get now being a handyman. Okay, they call them handyman because they can do and they can fix anything. Like maybe you buy furniture from your house. Because we're here. Maybe our style when you won't go buy a chair. They will give you the chair, give you give you a, a boy, we will help you couple them, or you won't go how how won't or you buy electronics, you don't know how to fix that. They will give you person, say, help go fix this thing for this okay. They know they do like that for here. <laughs> Who gets that? Who we'll get that time? As you order for the thing, they bring and come. Only you and your school driver, that is if you have school driver. Only you and your school driver go sit down, think out how to set that thing. What are you doing for you? Hey! I can remember the first time I got a, a TV stand. We bought two to get that TV stand, in short, to set it properly because it is not always easy. Sometimes you are looking at the manual, what you are seeing is different. Almost two to three hours it took us to set that thing. Can you imagine that I got an Andy man to do it? Andy man will charge you 18 to 20 dollars per hour. So if you do it for three hours, he could charge you like that. All this, uh, I bought a TV. I don't know how to put it on my wall. 
we'll call Andy Man Igudwam. I got a, a fan or I got a, a chandelier. I don't know how to hook it to my this thing. Andy Man will come, we we'll check and go we'll fix them. I got a, a new vertical blind. I don't know how to install it. Andy Man will come, we'll fix them. It will charge you money. Now say you go to pay like, pay the go. You pay like ATM machine. <laughs> So these are that was why I said these skills will help you yourself. Before you go help out, you go fair help you arrange your life. So if you have these skills, you will not be spending money anyhow. Because there are some basic things you there are some things you need to spend money on. There are some things you shouldn't spend money on. Because as the money they come, I say they fly. I don't even know where they fly, they go. So think of all these things, learn them, just get them for your or your head or get them for your body so that when you come you know say ah i don't ready for this country okay another skill when we need to learn is being a spray painter you see industrial spray spray, spray painter these people where they do industrial painting it may be that type it may even be painting somebody's house even painting your own house Sometimes you are moving into a house and the house is not painted. Or you are moving out of the house and the house has stains and all that. If you call somebody to come and paint the house, do you know how much they will charge you? Just to paint a room is 150 to 200 Go and check it online. That's what they will charge you, to paint a room. It depends on the size though. So if it's a very big room, you are going to pay more than that. So you can imagine that you know how to do it yourself. You know when you close from work one day, you decide to go to the house and paint it yourself. Painting for my for my country, it be like now who no go school now they go learn painting. For here, na skilled na skilled labor be that too. Not be just to say you carry paint and brush, you do blah blah blah. Na skilled labor, so they go pay you well for painting. And people where they build new houses, all these new structures where they come up, they need painter. So if not side also for you, or if not full time job for you, you don't get job because the house, the people where they build the house, they go need a painter to to do the work. So you go to do them. You make money for yourself. There's there are a few things that we just have to learn. You don't need to go school to you. You, you just need to maybe on your own. You feel you just buy paint and brush, just they learn them because it could be useful to you for here. Very useful. Painting, good thing as one thing. Ah, I don't need to paint. What did they to paint? But a big issue for him. Learn how to paint. Yeah, this particular skill is driving skill. <laughs> you can never tell where that skill will lead you to. So if you don't know how to drive already, please go and learn how to drive. Because definitely coming to another or Western world, US, UK, wherever. You may just need to buy a car. And when you buy a car, what happens? Who will drive it? So go and learn how to drive. Driving is very, is a very important skill for anybody. If you can't even drive yourself at that time, maybe you can buy a car to use for Uber, like taxi, right? So whatever way it will, it will suit you, it's always a good skill. But I driving personally, or driving for commercial purpose. In both ways, it's important. Driving is very important. Now, if you have not gotten your driver's license in Nigeria and you know how to drive, please go and get it. And it should be valid, like valid. Because it's with that driver's license, you go to the driving, to the uh, driving uh, certification place and you are able to uh, go through, the, I think there are, you write the exam it's a very brief one you write the written one and you do the driving one just to check if you can drive and if you're able to pass the two exams you now get your license to drive which would make you what I, I think if you want to go commercial it's another thing you need to get i don't know how that works though but you have it you have it you know Driving is very important. You can drive your own personal car. You can drive commercial vehicles. Some can even go into driving buses. So driving skill is very important. Please go and get your driver's license if you don't have. Or go and learn how to drive if you don't know how to drive. Because coming here, you will spend so much to learn how to drive. Mm. Yes. 
you don't know how to drive you spend so much acquiring that skill so in my country that is still very cheap or whichever country you have that you still have time you still have luxury of doing some things just learn it and get a certificate that get the driver's license before you come it's very important to get the driver's license because when you come if you come as a, a permanent resident you'll be able to drive with that license for three months so at least that will give you ample time to go get your driver's license your your canada driver's license sorry i wanted to say saskatchewan your canada driver's license well mine is saskatchewan well with my saskatchewan driver's license i can drive to any province and i think drive for one or two months i think i can't i don't know for sure don't quote me on that please but i know you you can drive in another province but if you're going to live in that province for a long time, you have to get their own certificate too. You see their own certificate or their own driver's license. So go and learn how to drive if you don't know how to drive, please. Another skill we should also think of getting or, achieve, or acquiring before coming to Canada is tailoring. You see that one? I beg. I try to learn how more. <laughs> Be like, say, hey, me, I don't get talent for tailoring. Tailoring, people make good money out of it. If you want to amend, maybe your trousers got torn, or you want to uh, reduce the length of your trousers, you know how much they will charge you. Tell us here, nothing less than $50. I'm not exaggerating. Nothing less than $50 to do amendment. Then if you want to sew a complete dress, or you want to sew a complete shirt, or you want to sew a suit, or you want to amend a suit, in short, you don't want to go there. You know the way they charge here is per hour. So if that job is going to take that person two or three hours to work on, that's how the person will charge you. So for instance, I want to amend a dress that is too big for me and I take it to the tailor. They'll look at it and see, okay, I'll have to loosen it and we sew it and do this and that. Okay, I think it will take me two hours. And if my one hour is $25 times two, that's $50. They don't look at your face when they are charging you. They don't. Because everybody is paid per hour here. So the person is looking at the hours they are going to spend to work on that thing. And that's how they charge you. So, tailoring is very, very important. For me, my head no carry on. For whoever in head carry on, going to fashion, make fashion designing or whatever, it sells like mad. Because we, the blacks here, most of the time we want to wear our native clothes. So we are going to occasions or we're going to church or whatever we want to dress like african so when you want to look how many times would you be going back home to make clothes and bringing here no you want to use a tailor in town because you want your measurement to be sure and you want everything to look pink pink you know <laughs> so for you to achieve that you have to pay the tailor that is going to work on your clothes very well so they charge a lot this breast tube or whatever these blouses women wear do you know how much they charge to make it here 200 250 to make up that clothes so if you are thinking of migrating to canada please if your process is still in front like you're it's something you're already putting documents together you're already doing everything you need to do to come sit down and take this just sit down with viral paper just be jotting down things that you know I think i can do this i think i can do this go and learn everything if you learn all of them when you come you will now know the one that you will follow hmm? tailoring is very important another skill you need to acquire before coming to canada you see this thing they call makeup <laughs> makeup i've been a makeover i've been a make before you see I'm, that thing very important you see this more already in my face if I carry some, if I call somebody, say, come do this thing for me, you know how much they will charge me. They are going to spend two hours on my feet. Calculate it. $25 per hour. If not two hours, they spend. If not $50, I don't spend. If not three hours, they spend. Now, six. Now, say they go. So, nobody, they look your face. You see this makeup? If you want to do one for yourself, learn them. If you want to go commercial, please go and learn it very well so that you'll be a professional makeup artist did i make over did i make before did i make anything but learn it it's important you do 
but those that want to go commercial they make good money out of makeup you know somehow here yeah, because it's expensive a lot of people don't want to really make up like that but people make up tie gilly you see this a tie tie your hair a tie we will be the tie for my country that one too ching to lena because people make money out of that you know how to tie different hairstyles you make money from it so go and learn how to make do makeup if you want to go commercial learn it very well get a certificate from your country mostly you can go to sites that you know uh they are recognized sites that you can learn after learning the physical one you can go to those sites and learn it you when you come come over here to you go learn you go get your certification it helps you you know we are certified why am i why are we always stressed why am i always stressed and certified certified because everything about their their their, their situation here or how they run the country is any skill you have you should be certified to work at that person you cannot just go and say you learned it on the road you learned it by the way or you were blessed with it no they want to be sure that as you say you know how to do this thing where is the certificate to show that you did it and most of the time they love their own certificate that is the one that is gotten from canada so that's why i said when you come with the one like if you've already learned the skill learning it here will not be difficult for you it's just a walk through the park for you so if you want to go into it like a professional one now you can now learn it very well from your country and come here and just brush up and get a certificate so that you can be a professional makeup artist okay learning that skill cannot be overemphasized because people go to parties every day people do photo shoots every day people do baby shower whatever you call it people must always make we we women we like to find no because we don't want to carry last last for anyway so if you want fine how what if you stay fine nah you know now nah. use powder rub everywhere <laughs> make your face stick up small you know that kind of thing so learning that skill is very important please go and learn it if you don't know how to do it even for yourself it will also be useful to you because you, you where you want to go out you can make yourself up you can tie your own hair tie you know these are things you should learn think about it but my 13th skill and i think we should have before migrating to canada is being a mechanic go and learn how to fix cars you know right here they have few mechanics that's what i've realized personally because i've had reasons to visit mechanics and i realized there are very few ones that are here you have to book and they'll tell you come the next three days or the next four days or the next five days if they have a lot of them they will not be so booked because you know when there's demand and there's enough supply everybody will be satisfied but here we are having issues with we have a lot of demand and there's less supply so you have to stay on the queue for a long time so either you're managing the car you call the person please 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 and the person starts charging you extra so go and learn how to fix a car i know men will always love this one if you know how to fix a car it's a plus for you learn it learn it very well if it's honda you know uh, car fixing is not just learning everything if you want to follow a particular line if it's honda you know how to fix the engine you know how to fix the tires the legs and all that so you know it's hondas you fix you can classify a, a, some cars that you can fix so you i think with those kind of skills you will not run out of market though. there is no way to run out of market because some of them even going to buying cars fixing the cars and selling them to people there was the time i was having issues with my car when i went to the mechanic i saw a lot of cars packed around i was like ah what do you do with this car he said ah, he gets them at very cheap rates he fixes them and he sells them so, wow see the way somebody's making money for himself and at a point he said he's going on vacation with his family I said, oh. so they make a lot of money with this those jobs you think is nothing to us mechanics are seen as well to some they are not seen as educated they are not seen as skilled but here they are seen as skilled people so it's something you should think of 
go and learn it if you some if it's a skill you're looking at. Mechanic. Ah, I cannot overemphasize it. Okay. My number 14th skill on my list is computer repairs. Computer phone repairs. Very important we learn it. If you have IT or you see hardware um, skill, please go and learn how to fix a computer, how to fix a phone. Most of us, when our phone gets bad here, either we send it back to our country or we discard it. Because to fix a phone here, <laughs> if I tell you my son's um, Chromebook got bad and when I took it to fix, the amount they were calling for me was almost the amount I used in buying a new one. And I decided to buy a new one because how would I fix something and I'm not so sure it will last. So it's not better I get a new one. When the person called the price, I said, wait, is it the thing you want to buy or is the office? He says it's workmanship. He has not told me what he wants to buy in it. Though. So what I'm trying to tell you is go and learn that skill. If it's something you're looking at, there are a lot of us back home that have, you just know you have hand. There are some people that just have hand for all these things. They know how to put things together, know how to, to think of phone repairs, computer repair, very important. There are very few, few people here who have that skill. So learn it if you can. The last one on my list is, I put it as the last one because I know it will take time, it will take effort, it will take money to be able to acquire this skill. And it will take determination. I learned it um, in passing, that's how I call it, because I was thinking of that field. But it's something you could look at. I was thinking of it and the money then was not enough. Like I didn't have enough cash to go into it. One of it is data analytics, data science um business and business analytics too those are two skills that one can learn i think you can learn one and leave the other either data or business analytics these are two skills that we can think of learning they are very good they are very useful people that are into it here make good money because you'll be able to get jobs you'll be able to most of the time they work from home and I know it takes determination to do it that's why I said it's something you could think of doing and I also know it takes a lot of money because then when I wanted to do it I think they, to get the certification there was like 350 that is not the materials you're going to get though, just to get the certification and you can imagine now how many years ago so what I'm trying to say is that it's something you could think of it's something that you can plan towards doing, but it's a skill that when you get it, you'll be able to like get a job. Not like sharp sharp, but people that are into it are able to get jobs because uh and it pays very well too. We'll be looking at um between sixty to to eighty thousand dollars per annum, which is not bad, which is very good. So you can think of it and it's something you're looking into try to go into it. data analysis or uh, business analysis. Those are the two skills I think one can have before. So I think I've been able to give us like 15 skills we could learn before coming to Canada or before migrating to Canada. They are basic skills. The last one is maybe not the basic skill, but it's something that you could think of and you can look into it. So thank you for watching my videos. Thank you for watching it till the end. I, I appreciate you guys for watching it to the end. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for always coming back. Thank you for all your encouragement. I look forward to coming back with another video that would um, interest you and we also um, develop anyone or make anyone happy or make anyone have a change of mind or make anyone acquire a skill whatever it is but thank you for coming back thank you for watching it's your girl again nelly usman and at this time i will say bye bye